What's up guys, today is Wednesday, August 9th. Wednesday means new comic book day. New comic book day means new comic book haul video. As always, I went down to Infinity Flux here in Chattanooga, Tennessee for another big old stack of books and a few extra goodies as well. So let's get started with Marvel, starting with Amazing Spider-Man number 31. I know I said I was going to drop this with issue number 30. I made a whole other video about that. I just want to see what happens next. So I'm going to keep buying this for the time being. So uh, yeah, there, there is that. Uh, Avengers number four. This one was absolutely fantastic. Ghost Rider, Wolverine, Weapons of Vengeance number one. You can't doesn't get any better than uh, Wolverine and Ghost Rider together. Good 90s nostalgia there. Miles Morales, Spider-Man number nine. Spider-Man Annual. This is uh, part of the Contest of Chaos storyline, so it'd be cool to see the two of them duke it out. As for DC, we've got Night Terrors number three. Still really, really enjoying the series quite a bit. Probably my favorite issue of the entire Night Terrors event so far. Night Terrors Green Lantern number two. This was so unbelievably good. Holy cow. I loved this one so much. Uh, we've also got Night Terrors Robin number two. Night Terrors Shazam number two and night terrors zatanna number two and i really like this one as well like this one in the green lantern miniseries are probably my two favorite miniseries of all of them they're just super duper fantastic uh we've also got the superman 2023 annual this one was great too the lois lane and the uh the staff of the daily planet uncovering all kinds of secrets and mysteries and then there's something super duper cool at the end that makes me super excited for things to come with Superman. So that one is a very, very awesome. And then we've got World's Finest Teen Titans number two. The Teen Titans go to a haunted house. Like this, this should have been released in October because this one was uh, pretty fun too. Only one image book this week though. We've got Gunslinger number 23 with that very cool cover there. Got a couple of indie books as well from Dark Horse. We've got Brainstormers number two. I haven't read the first one yet, but uh, I have it on good authority. That's a pretty cool series, so I can't wait to read that. Uh, this one is uh, very interesting. This is Dwellings number one from Oni Press. It looks super duper cutesy. It is not. This is definitely not a book for kids because a lot of the book is like, it looks like this, but there's also this stuff in it. So definitely not for kids, but it is a fun and entertaining read. We've also got from Scout Comics, Comic Books Kill. This is from local writer here in Chattanooga, Shane Berryhill. Uh, this is a sort of a crime noir mobster story, but also set in the world of comic book publishing back in the late 30s in New York. So very, very cool. Uh, I love the sort of behind the scenes comic book publishing stuff, but also kind of a period piece. So very, very neat. Then a couple of back issues as well. Uh, it's been a while since we've seen these. But I got the uh, Godzilla King of the Monsters, number 16, the old Marvel Godzilla, and then also number 20. So these were the last two that my LCS was hanging on to for me. Uh, so Godzilla, uh, like a little Godzilla versus the Fantastic Four, like that's really neat. Can't wait to read that one. But the fun doesn't stop there. I got a few extra goodies as well, including this Thor epic collection. This is In Mortal Flesh collecting Thor numbers 401 to 418 and annual number 14. Also picked up the Oblivion Song Compendium from Robert Kirkman, Image Comics, Skybound Entertainment. I've never read this before. I read like the first couple issues, I think. I thought it was pretty interesting. This, I do believe, is the whole series, issues one through 36, and these nice big thick paperbacks that you guys know that I like, so super happy to have that. And then I got another big boy book, and this one is a little bit weird. So I got the Amazing Spider-Man Omnibus Volume 4, and for all of you out there who are keeping track of my omnibuses, because I know there's so many, right? Uh, no, I actually already have this, but it's the older printing, and it's not the direct market cover. And I really wanted the newer printing with the with this direct market cover. I wanted it to kind of match the other ones I have, so I picked up the newer printing. And I had to do it because this is my favorite one, right? This is all the super classic Spider-Man stories, Death of Gwen Stacy, first appearance of Punisher. You've got the Spider-Mobile in there, which is really fun. Just super fun stuff from the uh, early to mid 70s uh, of Amazing Spider-Man. I just really like this era of stories and just really wanted to have the newest uh, edition possible. And that's it guys, another great haul, another fun week of comics. Guys, I appreciate you watching. Don't forget, life is short, like what you like, ignore what you don't. Also don't forget that if you need an LCS from which to order any of these books that are out now, or from which to pre-order books that are coming soon, you can visit infinityflux.net. You can order any of these books that are in stock right now. Uh, you can order all of them if you want. 
uh, and they will be shipped directly to you or you can look ahead to the future and pre-order some books that are coming in the near future. You can set up pull lists, you can pick which covers you want, all that kind of fun stuff. And when the books are released, they will be shipped right to you and you get 10% uh, off of your order when you do that. And also, brand new, if you use promo code BUMPKINS on infinityflux.net, you get an additional 10% off your order. Now that is a one-time use per account, but it doesn't expire, so there's no rush to do it today. Um, you know, if you see something you like next week, you can use it then, but it is only a one-time use for each account. So yeah, extra 10% off uh, with the promo code BUMPKINS. So guys, that's going to do it for today. Uh, again, I appreciate you watching. Be sure to like, share, follow, subscribe, smash buttons and ring bells, whatever you got to do on whatever platform you're watching this on for more videos about these books throughout the week.